All right, y'all. It is um dirty windshield because it's raining and nasty, but uh, we're on our way to Louisiana. And we gotta go east, and going east means Perry, Texas, and that means hot dog on a stick is in our future. Let's get one. Join us. Ciao, y'all. Crack has arrived. Fresh fried crackness. Mmm. Cheese on a stick. And they just uh, cook those fresh for us. So I'm going to let them cool off for a minute and uh, we'll sample one. You may absolutely love these things. Uh, yeah. It's like a guilty pleasure. I haven't had one in like a year. So, yeah. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Cheesy fried corn dog goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good fattening goodness. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Looking at the patrons walking up here. Uh, that girl there got a bootay. We won't show her, but. Uh, yeah. I'm working on mine. All right, folks, we are in DeKalb. DeKalb, DeKalb, I'm not sure how you say it. There's a sign right there. Anyway, we are uh, passing through here, and this is where uh, Dan Blocker is buried. So I was going to stop by quick and uh, show you his grave, if I can find it. He's buried at the Woodman's Cemetery. In a quarter mile, turn right towards southeast Front Street. Okay, we're a quarter mile away from his grave. Let's go check it out. That is an epic tractor, Mrs. Chef. Take the next right towards Southeast Front Street. Doesn't make any sense. It's over there in the left. Right, we're shooting back into the sun, but we have found. Mr. Dan Blocker's grave. Or a shack blocker. Guessing that's his mother, maybe. Maybe this is his mother, I don't know. Mary A. Blocker. Here's a Aura Virginia blocker. Only lived uh, 12 years. So, yeah, there you go. Died way back in 72. That's a long time ago now. It's 50 years ago. You watch those old, uh, you know, reruns, episodes of uh, Bonanza, and you just don't realize how long ago that really was. But here he is. Big Hoss, the original Big Hoss, not the ones from that stupid show Pond, whatever. We're here at the Woodsman Cemetery in DeKalb, DeKalb. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce the name of this town. All right, we're gonna roll on. Well, folks, welcome to Arkansas. Arkansas. All right, folks, we made it down to the uh, Chafalaya Basin, and it's uh, close to midnight. Oh, it's 11 something. Yeah, 11 and 11. There we go. Um. Anyway. Brought some squash and stuff out of the garden, some uh, chilies, some squash, uh, store-bought onion. 
Had a little deli meat here, ham. So I'm gonna make some uh, crazy ramen concoction here late at night. Uh, Cause we haven't eaten today, except for that uh, cheese on a stick, which was you know eight hours ago. So uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, folks, we got limited stuff to work with. Uh, this cabin don't have nearly the amount of equipment that some of them do. But uh, we got a pot and we got a skillet, and uh, we're gonna make this work. Bowling off our noodles now. Wish I had my sesame oil, but I left it at home. We got some regular oil though. And uh, I've been cutting up some stuff over here. Got some squash in the garden, some onions, some jalapeno, and some ham. There we go, folks. Nice little quick, easy ramen stir fry. Kick them on. All right, folks. Um, so after I filmed the, uh, the little ramen video, because I didn't bring any food with me, I was gonna go to the store and all. Just brought some a few basic things. Made that little ramen up. We got down here, and uh, you know, I was on the antibiotics for uh, basically 14 days. I did a seven day round when they were putting the, the post and all that crap in, and then another seven days after I got all that dental surgery done. So, it uh, anytime I get off of like uh, I get on antibiotics for a long time, usually when I come off of them, which I ran out last uh, let's see, five or six, four or five days ago now, whatever day it was, Tuesday, I think. I end up getting sick, and uh, so we got out here in the swamps. You can see behind me, we're in the big time Louisiana swamps in the Atchafalaya Basin. And uh, I stayed in bed for the last 36 hours. I've been uh, been sick the whole time, so uh, Mrs. Chef, we're a little further south than where uh, daughter Chef lives, so we could get this cabin and all. And uh, ended up they uh, she went and hung out with the uh, daughter and granddaughter chef yesterday and I've been in the, the bed the whole time uh, for like 36 hours I guess so I'm hoping maybe later today I'll start feeling better and uh can enjoy a little bit of this anyway after that long ass drive but we'll see how it all goes anyway if I start feeling better I'll uh, take some video and show you all around here and uh cool area very swampy you know this is rainy season and uh this is basically where all the rivers come together uh, into the Mississippi and all, and creeks and streams. So it's almost like in a tropical jungle. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm one of those guys that very very rarely gets sick because I'm uh, around a lot of people and work a lot and have a high immune system. But when you take uh, antibiotics to keep from getting like bloodborne illnesses and all, when you're getting a uh, dental and stuff like that, then you got to take them like you can you know get some kind of infection in your jaw and. It can kill you so necessary evil but uh man after you take those and you are one of those type of people that have a high immune system uh just get ready when you come off of them to get sick it happens every time uh, i try my damnedest not to take any damn uh antibiotics anyway you can see all the vines and everything very cool we have seen a couple of snakes uh when we got here Cause we are off in the middle of nowhere, and this is the kind of place that has the your fridge and the front porch. You know, cause you can't beat that. All right, guys, try to film some more as we go, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.